hello and welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to implement the matlab um, modification of two matrices in matlab okay so we'll begin by um multiplying uh, asking the user for the metrics they want to multiply and so we see use the input function and when we get the metrics we store it inside x the first one then we get a second one too and then store it inside y okay so this, this is very simple now what you're supposed to do is we are supposed to check the dimensions of the matrix using built-in functions like the size so the size function returns the vector of dimension of the given matrix so let's see how the um, the size works so I have here um, x y and then z they are matrices so I can have um, size of x and then size of y and then size of z okay so i have this one let's run the code and see what happens so when you run it you can see the first one is a three by three which is true and you also have the second one is also a three by three and then the last one is a three by one matrix so we can also put it in this form so it's a three by one matrix so that's exactly what the size returns the size returns the vector of the dimension so remember that the size returns what a vector of the dimensions of the matrix we are talking about or the matrix in question so that's exactly what you are doing you are assigning the whole size to this x size and the y size so it returns the matrix the dimensions of the matrix right here now before we proceed to finding the multiplication of the matrix we have to check the dimensions of the matrix if they agree so we have to check if the column of the x vector is equal to the row of what the y uh, y matrix not the vector sorry so what we do is um for example okay let me clean So, for example, if you have um, a three, a three by three matrix, multiply by a three by one matrix, we know that the answer is going to be what a three by one. Okay, and we have to check if they agree. So, what you can use to check when we check this way, and they are the same. So, if here is equal to three, and here is also equal to three, which means the column of the first matrix is equal to what the row of the second what matrix so it is true so it means you can multiply a matrix in this form or of this form and then the answer is going to be this one which is also the three by one okay so that's what you are going to get okay so that's exactly what you are doing so to be able to check for that we say if x size which holds the dimensions so the x size so the first time um x size 2 of the x matrix will return 3 we we'll return this 3 right here so we are checking that will be the column for what the first matrix and then the y size 1 will be the row for the what the second matrix so that will also return um that will also return the 3 right but in case we are doing a 3 by 1 the first one will return a three, which is the column for the first vector, and then the three is also for the um, the y vector, the y matrix. All right, so that's how we check. So we check we check that if the x size or the two or the the column of of the first matrix is not equal to the row of the first matrix, then we are just going to we are not even going to work. All that we are going to do is to tell them sorry we cannot uh, maybe process this or we are going to get dimension or whatever you choose to write there all right but however if they agree or the column of the first one is equal to the row of the second one then what you are going to do is to create um, a matrix called final matrix now this final matrix will hold the answer we are going to get um like after we are we are done computing everything so 
in matlab you could have initialized this with an empty array but or an empty metrics but we don't want to do that because we do that it's going to lead to memory what leaks so what to do is we call the zeros function on it and then now set it to the exact size we are going to get after the matrix multiplication because you can determine the exact size of a metric multiplication for example if you have a three by three if you have a three by three and um, a three by one we know that we are going to get what a three by one so now we are going to initialize um the the final matrix with exactly three by one all filled with what zeros so let's see what the zeros function does when you call the zeros function it returns um let's say zero function three three all that it does is to return um zero 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 so you can see it's returned a three by three matrix filled with what zero so all that we are doing is to um fill them the answer we have we are going to get with only zero so for example if you have a three by three and a three by one we are going to get a three by one so you are going to fill the final matrix with what a three by one matrix all of what zero all right so after doing that what you do is we initialize the loop now the loop says for i equals one up to the length of what x so up to the end or the number of elements inside the matrix x which supplied to us from right here what you're going to do is you are going to get the row of the first matrix so let's take for example let me clean this one right here so let's say for example we have we have one one zero two one three zero one one so this will be our first matrix and then two one zero three one nine two four five okay so what you are going to do is so the first time we initialize the loop what you are going to do is you are going to get this whole row of the x so this is our x and this are what y okay the two matrices we took from the user so what you're going to do is you are going to get um the whole row which is this one and then after getting that row we store it inside what temporary x vector okay so in matlab when you do um we have any matrix and you do x which is our matrix right here we do one then comma colon we say hey go into the x matrix and then get us everything inside the first row so the one means the first row and everything inside right here so this should return the two one three and then we use we can also return the whole column which is x we can do one can do no colon rather then comma then one so this will also return the whole what column the first column right so this is going to return let's run it and see the answer okay so when we run the code let's go what you have so you can see the first one return two one three as here and then the second one return what two two zero like two two and zero right okay so that's what this particular function does so the moment you do this we are going to get the first um vector which is from here and then after getting that one we store it inside the temporary x vector and then we come to the loop for the second second matrix too so now we are going to this second matrix y okay so what you are supposed to we are going to do here is we are going to get the column of the second matrix because if you have a matrix like this and we want to multiply we take this um this row here and then get the column of this one get this column right here and now we multiply them now take note that we do not need to transpose any of them because we are taking the row from the x and we are taking the column from the right 
So automatically, when we multiply them, it's going to give us what a scalar. It's already transposed. Okay. So what you do is we come into the a for loop for the y, and then we do the same. So now you see we have a colon comma j, and then this will return the whole column of um, the y, the y matrix, which is this one right here. Okay, so you can see here for j is equal to one is to y size, and then I put two, and I didn't use the length of what um, y. This is because the moment you use the length of y, you are going to get what array index out of bounds, or you are going to exceed the maximum um, array output. Okay, so what we do is you are supposed to um, use the y size. So let's say, assuming we have we have a three by one, or uh, yeah, three by one. Let's use one, two, one. So you have a three by one matrix this way. Okay. If you have a three by one matrix this way, and then we are getting its dimension is going to be a three what? Let me get my eraser. A three by what one? So what you do is um, we just get we just get that one because. We know that we are going to get a three by one and the matrix we are going to get finally is going to be what a three by one so we we, we do not need to use the three which is the length of this um three by one okay now explain further okay so when we have a three by one let me show you something let me call the length function on this three matrices right here so you can see that this is a three by three, also a three by three, and this is a three by one. But when we, when we look for the length of these ones, say length, length of x, then length of y, then length of z. Okay, let's run the code and see what we get. Okay, even though we know that. Um, x is a 3 by 3 it has a length of 3 y is a 3 by 3 has a length of 3 and z is also a 3 by 3 a, a 1 by, a 3 by 1 but it also has a length of 3 but since we are going to get only a 3 by 1 inside the final matrix there is no need to loop through the length if you loop through the length you are going to go to 3 by 1 then 3 by 2 and 3 by 3 which will not even exist so what we do is that we will have to call the y size which will return the one or which is a three by one so it will bring the one and then we are going to look through only once and then set the value okay and set the value right here so what you do is this will return the um the the column vector from the y and then after getting that one what you do is that we call our final matrix and then initialize it what i and j and then now we say temporary x vector times the temporary what y vector we just multiply them. and this is going to return a scalar because we know that that's going to be what um it's already transposed and there's no need to transpose them okay so let's see how this program will work so when we call it the first time it's going to take this vector right here and get this one right here and then now multiply them which will return a scalar so let me do this so the first one when it's finished once flying is going to store it here it's going to store it here then the second time to take this same thing and then come for this second what column and then multiply it and then store it here take this same one again then multiply it with this one and it's also store it here right and then it will now say oh, okay i'm done so it will go to the next one get this this two one three right here and do the same repeatedly for the whole three columns so that will give us another x and then x and then x and then to come the last time take this one and use it to multiply these ones again and you know they are all going to return what vectors because it's already what's transposed 
okay so that's how the program works so you can see from here it's just it is just going to take it and then get the whole um, column and then now multiply the column by this one okay so and then store the answer in the i and then the j um, index so after we are done this is going to carry the whole answer the final method is going to carry the whole answer and all we are supposed to do is what print it out so we say display final metrics and then the final metrics will be displayed so let's test the code and see if it really works okay so i'm going to clear here okay so let's run the code when we run it you see it is saying please enter your first matrix so i'm just going to copy this one first we'll try a trip at three by three and then next time we'll try um a three by one so let's i'm just going to copy this one right here when i copy so i'm just going to paste it here so this will be my x matrix and this will be my y matrix okay so now you can see it's returned the answer for me i have 5 8 17 5 1 31 4 11 6 okay so it has been able to complete and then giving me the answer okay so let's try a three by one and see if this code will work okay so i'm going to use this one as my um three by three matrix let me run the code first okay let me just okay so let me just clean here right, let me run the code so the first one is going to be a three by three and then the second one is going to be a three by one matrix this one right here okay, so let's copy that one paste it here and now you can see our answer is equal to 9 9 and 29 which is also what a three by one matrix okay so let me just show you something in case i change um, this place to the length of y see what will happen okay so i'm going to also use the same uh, program again let me just see, let's see. so let me run it and then now to request the first matrix i just take this one copy copy and paste and then press enter and the second matrix just copy this one uh, copy and then paste and you see we are getting an error it says index exceeds matrix what dimension so we do not use that one because of this we are supposed to use the dimension of the matrix to solve this problem if you like the video please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up okay thank you for watching i'll see you some other time